What's going on guys, Kodo X Factor here and today I wanted to bring you another review video on um, items that, two items that I absolutely love. Um, like I said, I, do, I only do review videos on items that I absolutely use, love, and would recommend to anybody. So today, we're going to focus on two things. First of all, we're going to focus on XLR microphones versus USB microphones, and we're also going to focus on the Audio Technica AT2020 versus the Audio Technica AT2035. Both of them are really good microphones, and um, both of them I recommend to anybody. But in the end, you guys will um, probably see my final here and see my final verdict on the microphones. You guys will actually judge for yourself also. But um, like I said, in the end, it's going to be my verdict. Um, but the video is meant for you guys. The video is meant for you guys to listen to both microphones in case you are trying to decide between these two in the market, and um, which both of these are really, really good microphones. So um, the Auto Technica AT2020. It should run you around 100 to about $130 for the USB microphone version. They make an XLR microphone version, which goes for around 100 to 130 for like the USB version, and they also make a USB version plus, which goes around for about 130 to 150. And um, but the Audio Technica AT2035 is only in XLR version. So, um, but today we're going to be focused comparing the AT2020 USB version versus the Audio Technica AT2035. Uh, XLR version. So, right now we're going to go into a sound test. Right now I'm using the Audio Technica AT2020 USB version, and uh, this microphone is meant for more beginners who need a go to mic, who need a plug and play mic, or plug and go mic, and um, who also don't really need, don't really want to spend that much money on um, audio. But it's also a great start, great mic to start off with, and um, it sounds almost professional in my opinion, but. Um, uh, this is my opinion though, but, um, you guys are going to see, uh, and hear the Audio Technica AT2035 right after this. The, um, the difference in looks, um, <clears throat> the Audio Technica AT2035 has more of a blacker finish, while the Audio Technica AT2020 has more of a dark gray, light blackish finish with some black spots on it, but, um, you know, both of them will go good with, uh, with any color scheme involving black. Now here's going to be the Audio Technica AT2035, so uh, stay tuned for this. Right now I'm talking out of the Audio Technica AT2035, and this is the XLR microphone. And as you can see in the screenshot, um, that is how close I am to the microphone. And the Audio Technica AT2035 is meant for more guys who um, who want a, a fresh, more of a professional microphone. And right now it's hooked up to a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. And, um, yeah, as you can hear, this is the difference between this and the USB mi microphone, and um, also this and the Audio Technica AT2020 <laughs> microphone. I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, so right now it's um, both of them are on shock mounts, so, um, just to make that fair, and uh, I'm gonna go uh, do the final verdict, so, um, just stay tuned. And also, um, what I'm using to actually hear my audio also is um, my Beat Studios and the settings on the audio interface, the volume for the microphone. If it was a clock, it'd be set to two o'clock. And um, for the the knob on top of the uh, audio jack on the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, where my Beat Studio stands, it's uh, it's somewhere in ten o'clock. Is that ten o'clock? That's just face. So. Um, Anyways, this has been Kudo X Factor, so stay tuned for my final verdict. So, here's my final verdict for um, my review today. Now, like I said in my video, the Audio Technica 802035 varies from the 802020 in looks. The 802035 has more of a blacker, darker finish, while the 802020 has more of a darkish, grayish, um, light black finish with um, dark black spots on it. but. Both of them will go good with the color scheme involving black. And um, like I said, this one, this op, the 2020 has a, uh, LED, a blue LED light inside of it, but the 2035 does not have any LED lights inside of it. But um, honestly, in terms of XLR versus USB microphone, um, I'd say the XLR takes the cake, mostly because of the audio interface, and um, it has better noise cancellation. Um, that then again, it all depends on the microphone you get. But in this term, the Audio Technica H one hundred and fifty five has better cancellation, noise cancellation, background noise cancellation than the Audio Technica H one hundred and twenty. 
and um, that's mostly to do with the fact well, for the uh, with the uh, audio interface. And the audio interface lets you control. I mean, it lets you uh, adjust your gain, your volume, and uh, things of that nature. Dial depends on the audio interface that you get. And um, but the audio interface 2035 um, sounded a lot smoother, crisper, and um, um, did better in um, it did better in noise cancellation. And uh, that being said, it didn't blow the audio interface 2020 USB out the water. But it slightly beats it in terms of sound quality. Now, in terms of the 2035 versus the 2020, the 2035 tastes the cake, in my opinion. And um, mostly because of the noise cancellation, the background noise cancellation, I mean, I keep saying noise cancellation. Background noise cancellation, which um, eliminates background noise better than the uh, Audio Technica 80 2020 USB version. And uh, it also sounds a lot more smoother, in my opinion. And um, if I were to choose between, if I were to um, classify these two things, um, the Audio Technica AZ 2020 would be good for beginners or people who really don't need professional microphone or professional audio. My bad, professional audio. And the 2035 is more people who want to step up their mic game, go all out for a professional microphone audio. But if you guys are gonna plan on going with this option, I plan. On, if I were you, I would plan on getting an audio interface mostly because USB or XLR to USB is not good. I'm gonna tell you that now. It's not good, and you can watch a bunch of tutorials on it. If you'd be better off the audio interface in order to control your, control your, um, your settings, but you can also hear your audio just so you can know what kind of settings you need with headphones. And audio interfaces come with the headphone jack, and in this one, in my case, the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 comes with the headphone jack that's really big, so you're gonna need one of these. Um, they run you for about three to four dollars on Amazon, but um, it basically converts a 2.5 millimeter jack to one of these things, so you can plug it in. And um, yeah, I mean that's my final verdict. What I'm gonna be using this mic for? I'm gonna be using this one for my commentaries and this one for my live commentaries. And um, like I said, both mics are really good. You cannot go wrong with either of the microphones. And um, like I said, the Audio Technica AT2035 beats it, beats the 2020 in background noise cancellation uh, and sound quality too. And also due to the fact that you can adjust your sound for XLR microphones, in this case the 2035, with your audio, inter audio interfaces. And you can make it as loud as you want, or you can make it as low as you want. And also you can mess with the gain and whatever else the, your audio interface has. Because all, all audio interfaces are different. But um, yeah, that's my final verdict for both these microphones. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, um, subscribe, subscribe that, that subscription button. And you guys can leave feedback too. Have any questions, just leave some feedback and I'll respond to all the comments. But um, anyways, this has been Kudo X Factor. And um, I hope you guys' this journey for looking for a microphone goes well for you guys. No regrets. But anyways, kudos to you guys.